Hello everyone, Sigler here, Bork, Chef, you can call me whatever you'd like. Today I'm gonna show you a like super simple and lazy tank build that you can do as a beer tank in Lich King. Because I felt like I really wanted to share this before the changes. And I mean, Cataclysm is like right around the corner and the pre-patch is pretty soon. It's like, it's here pretty soon. <coughs> And like maybe you wanted to like starting to gear up bef before the pre-patch and everything, so and maybe make some uh, some gold in the process as well. So the reason why this is a super simple build or like way to play the build doesn't really matter. Uh, well, obviously you need to be feral, but we we're gonna use some macros that is gonna. <coughs> I'm sorry, that is gonna be like. Uh, make this uh, like playstyle super simple. So I'm gonna show you how, and then we're gonna test it in theory uh, in a dungeon. So first off, the way that you play is that I'm gonna make I'm gonna show the, all the macros, but uh, we're gonna have a single target macro and also an AOE target macro and a mangle uh, macro. So let's go into the macros and, and show you. So first we're gonna start with the single target macro. So the reason why this is a single target is because like um, with a single target, obviously we're gonna start attack macro, uh, which is this one. And then we have the mole because mole doesn't share a global cooldown. It's actually hitting with your auto attacks. So if you're pressing it with your next uh, auto attack, it's gonna proc. Technically like a heroic strike or cleave as a warrior and With a single target we're gonna like spam that one and lancerate so technically whenever you're spamming this you're like start attacking and Whenever you have enough enough uh, Rage and you're gonna have a lot of it in uh, well if you have the gear as well so you're gonna have like a lot of rage so what it does is it automatically puts on the mole, which with the with the glyphs uh, it hits another target as well. So it's an AOE technic technically also. So the reason why it's kind of nice also is because I'm actually using the Idol of Crying Moon, uh, the periodic damage from your lance rate. Uh, and rake, but in this case it's lance rate ability grants 44 agility for 15 seconds stacks up to 50 uh, five times so whenever i'm charging in even if it's an aoe i start by pressing at least once on the single uh, single one just to get the stack rolling and after that i just try to keep it up because if you are going in a well decent group and like you're doing like a speed run so so to speak you can keep it up from f throughout the whole dungeon, pretty much. So that's pretty nice. <clears throat> so that's uh, the the single target macro, and then we go to the AOE. It's a little bit different. Uh, here I also added like a uh, previously I did use a, a trinket here. But I don't have the trinket, so I can actually remove that one. But if you have a trinket that you would like to use, uh, uh, like along with it, you can just target the macro like this. Shift target and well, no, okay. Well, I would do that. Shift click the uh, the item, and then re uh, remove that one and type slash use to use that item. <laughs> But the way that this one does is the same principle. It start attacking, cast the mole, and then it instead of lance rate, it uses swipe. So, and then you're hitting. Well, it's an AOE, so it's kind of nice. And with the mangle, it's the same thing. Um, you can remove this one because you don't have to. It will automatically cast the highest one. So the same thing here. The reason why I want this with the uh, like. Uh, like I always want to use mole mole is a really good damage ability It's actually like my highest one on pretty much every single thing so I wanted to have it active 
on every swing. So that's why I keep the key binding to everything. And then with Mangle, because Mangle I want to have off cooldown. So yeah, that's pretty much the the thing. And yeah, those are the three macros. And let's queue up for a um, Forge of Souls tank, fine group. Let's go. So it's like super simple. And I actually keybinded the AOE to scroll down. Which is kind of nice. So technically I just need to scroll like this. Okay. So let's just show the... Uh, I'm not, I might not show the whole run. But uh, at least to the first boss. Come on healer. Come on healer. You can do it. I believe in you. There we go. So we enter. I cast this one. We cast that one. And we go. Skadoosh. And like I said, one. And then I just press it. Like, I, I do nothing else than that. It's just pressing one button, pretty much. Which is very nice. So there we go. I use it the mangle. And all I'm doing is switching. Uh, what, what, like what I do from time to time is just tabbing and switching targets. Just to make sure that I like hit everything with mole to keep aggro. Because mole is a... Uh, high threat, I think. Yeah, and causes a high amount of threat. So that's another reason why I want to have it like on all the time. And here we go. Let's use this and just go in and go ham. It, it like it's so super simple, really. And I I can really recommend that you do this now. Uh, like either for gold or just to gear up because like why not if you're planning to play cataclysm so if you have the gear you, you can do this like so super early and i might actually do an update on this uh the like add-ons no the macros for cataclysm because i i got a single target macro coming for uh, paladin as well and if you have missed it, uh, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you uh, the single target uh, macro that I'm using for my Paladin, which is actually one button macro. Like, you don't need anything else. Because it's like a rotation macro. So, by, like, by, by doing it like this, it's like super simple. Sure, I'm losing a bit aggro right now, but that's because I have a uh, 5.1k gear score, and these have like, probably, yeah, almost 4 point, yeah, this rogue has 6k, 6.1k, so, <laughs> go figure. It's it's just super simple to play this way. It it I love I like I am a macro person. I love to macro. And after that, when like when once I see that they're about to die and I know that I have enough threat, I just go to the next pack because they're gonna follow me and the DPSers are gonna kill it on the way. This is like usually the way I play tank. I just love to, to, to have the speed and try to be as optimal as possible. And I try to look at the surroundings like, is there another pack that I can kill? Now, for example, I don't want to move them out right just yet. There we go. Because I wanted the AOE to leave. Uh, we're going to have to kill these ones. So let's do like this. Like, see, I'm always starting with uh, the single one. 
just because of this one at the moment. And the good thing with the druid tank is that you don't like you're not defense dependent, so you can get the wrathful gear and have a like very good gear. Because yeah, it's just super simple. And now I'm just like pressing the one. I'm only pressing one button. It's the only thing I'm doing. It's just it, it's it's so super simple. <clears throat> AOE incoming. And once I see that they're about to die. And that was my dash macro, which you can see over there. So that you cast a uh, cat form and then dash. So it's just one button to use it. Okay, they pulled it. <clears throat> and whenever there's two targets, I since Maul hits another person and it's high amount of threat I usually just use the single target one because I know that I'm gonna hit the second one also with high amount of threat as well and I'm getting the the stack up let's go over here I might just as well show you the whole run because it's so simple It's just super lazy <clears throat> because Maul is like automatically getting pushed the, the button. I, I, I'm such a tank guy. Uh, let's go. On bosses, uh, I didn't use it on the last one, uh, the previous one, because I wanted to Make sure that I have this on. And now I'm gonna use Berserk. Stop attacking. And now I can just spam again. Yeah, it's it's that simple. Three different kind of macros. And then of course you're gonna have to use like your cooldowns and everything. If that's what you want to do. Stop attacking. There we go. We are done. Need. Greed. Greed. Loot. And leap. We are done. So that's the, the macro and like lazy druid tank on the uh, Lich King. And if you press on this video over here, you can see a very old video though, uh, at the moment. But uh, it's a way that you can play uh, Paladin the same way, but you use, you use just one macro. And I hope to see you in the future, in the next video. Bork bork!